One of the things I hear from new WaveLab users is that the interface is confusing, but it really isn't. Let me take you through it. This is known as a workspace, and you're looking at five individual windows when you first launch WaveLab. There is a window up here known as a tab group. This is the upper left-hand tab group, and you can see that it has several different tabs on it. Then to the right of this tab group is a different tab group, and it also has several different tabs on it. Then the third window is this tab group with a phase scope and time code. Then if we come straight down from that third window, we see the fourth, which is the master section. And then we have the editor window, and the editor window is the largest window, which is also a tab group. You can have multiple different tabs on any of these tab groups. Now, WaveLab workspaces are very customizable. In fact, you could take the spectroscope here, you could right or control click on it and choose to float alone so that it's its own separate window, or you could resize the windows, like pulling the editor down here so that it is smaller, but these upper tab groups are larger, and maybe you want the spectrometer to be larger than the live spectrogram, or maybe you wanted the master section and the editor to be taller, and then now how do you get back to the original? And this is where people start to panic and they think that it's confusing. But just remember, if you come under the workspace menu and choose layout and then go back to default, it'll put all of the windows back to the same positions they were in the first time you launched WaveLab. And then one of my favorite things to do is to go to workspaces and layout and choose complete because that will give me all of the tabs in all of the associated tab groups right off the bat. And since I'm normally working on a 5K, 2K, and 4K monitor simultaneously, I've made my own custom workspaces to have the tab groups and the meters where I want them to on each monitor. And when you're done with that, you can go to layout and save your own custom layout. We're not going to do that in this course, but just be aware that you can really customize the look of the workspaces in WaveLab and get back to the original very quickly. So that's the workspace. Next, let's talk about menus versus tabs.